parked on the busiest street in America. I smell like old perfume. My, my, my. First of all, this bodysuit that I showed y'all in the last vlog, y'all know the skin stuff be looking small, but anyway, the one I'm currently wearing, this thing is choking me out. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. <sighs> like, is my neck that fat? Dang! Anyway, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. It is December 30th, Friday, and we are about to head to Zara. Y'all know they have the biannual sale in June and then at the end of December. I don't plan to spend a whole bunch of money. You get up in Zara, you get six or seven things, you end up spending $300. I really don't feel like leaving the house, hence my outfit. Yeah, I put zero effort into this outfit, so... Here we are. I even throw on my Uggs, y'all. And Uggs is something I wear really only when I'm running errands. I don't really make outfits out of Uggs. But. <laughs> my whole thing is, it's almost New Year's Eve. And my cousin Charlene is coming up here. So we're trying to see if we're all going to link up and what we're going to do it has to be something low-key because i don't know what it is about new year that people just act a plum fool acting out and acting up and i mean that's nothing new people always it's something about new year's that just mm -mm. it don't sit right with my spirit whatever we decide to do y'all will see uh-oh not they competing for the same corner mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. the man passing out flowers and then the dude doing the drinks on that side i did at home yoga this morning because y'all know i joined that yoga studio but it's kind of expensive and i'm trying to find ways to preserve my money but yeah i already emailed them to cancel my yoga membership so i'm gonna just start doing yoga at home but um y'all i just got up here and not even tell y'all anything about this put the conner trip you know why because it was horrible i'm already in the process of erasing it from my memory so in about three more days i'm gonna forget everything that's happened that trip is it never happened I think I'm gonna sit down and do a separate video on it. It's just so much. Anyway, I took videos of everything that happened and, and, and y'all just stay tuned for that. It was a mess, okay? <sighs> oh, I never forgot how to parallel park. Like, this is embarrassing. And there's so many cars coming. Then there's this man surveying the street looking at me. Like, sir, ain't nothing to see over here, hun. I just can't park right now. If you don't get the right angle when you first start to park, it's just, it's not gonna work. You're gonna be hurt. But this is a good street for me to park on because, um, oh dang, do I gotta pay to park? They got the parking was free over here. I don't got the parking mobile app, so I might have to go into the garage actually. I did all of that for what? Oh, this shirt is choking me out for real. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I got a headache and everything. I had to take one of my necklaces off because I'm like, dang, is it the necklace? Like, will that help? Anyway, I parked on the busiest street in America, trying to parallel little park child. I ended up downloading the park mobile app on my other phone. I don't have service on that phone though. <laughs> so I just turned on my hotspot and then connected to the Wi-Fi. That took like 20 minutes. But anyway, we about to walk up to Zara. So I'm gonna see y'all in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a perk. <laughs> I just checked out the men's section. They didn't have much down there. So now we're in the women's, which is always chaotic. Let's start from the front and work your way to the bike. This is so cute. See the little subtle pinstripes? Sleeveless, turtleneck, but babe, what's going on here? What's going on here? Hmm, $30 for nice long button up, it's not bad. These are cute, these are parachute pants. They're a 2X, so they're probably gonna be a little too big on me, but that's somebody tried them though. Yeah, that's it. Oh, sorry. This is a cape. This is really cute. <laughs> little army green color when i first saw it i was like oh this is something that you could definitely find at the thrift store because i thought it was like a long trench but it's a cute i'm gonna have to try one of these on so you yeah, see we have a lot of coat options today i'm not really looking for coats because i already have too many so i'm just browsing i'm gonna show y'all what i got in a second but y'all see we got a good little bit already this would be cute. 
for a little museum date, art museum. In New York or something, or maybe Greece, Italy. If you don't want it, you can bring it out. Come on. See, that I'm definitely getting this because I have been wanting a sling bag thing want like this. this. Or whatever it's called. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. You don't want none of this? So cute. Sir? Mm, yes, no. No, no, no. The color is really pretty, but the fit is just, it's funny. This is what it looks like untucked. Yeah, no. It's not doing anything for me at all. This is like a men's baseball looking jersey. It's made out of like a cotton, thick cotton material. You can wear this open or you can wear it closed. And of course I want to wear this underneath it. But I think this is really cute. A little design on the back. This is super cute. Little dress action. This would be good for the springtime because obviously it's sleeveless. It's a little thin, but it still has like that nice comfy material. Hmm. I like it, Picasso. These are parachute pants. I like these. These are large. The other one I just tried on was a 2X. So I think I'm gonna go with the large. I am truly a soldier in the army of the Lord with this one. It's so ironic that I decided to wear army pants today. Cause girl, with this with this poncho on, yeah, she a soldier for sure. This is cute. I don't love the color. I wish this was just in something more vibrant, honestly. But I mean, I like the idea of it. I like how big it is. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> you can unbun and just wear it like this too. But I don't know. This is too cute, but ooh. It smells like old perfume. Let me hear if I take this off. I do really like this though. I think I'm gonna get this because this to be a good transition piece into the spring. Wear this with some shorts. Like we always do with this town. I go I got Y'all, it's giving very much one and done. I came in there for what I came in there for and I left, okay? I was considering going to some different stores, but I just don't feel like it. Uh-oh. Y'all go ahead. It's a cop over there too. I hope you don't get me for jaywalking. Yeah, I was saying, considering that it's a new year and whatnot, I need to go home and declutter, refresh, clean, all of that stuff. Last night, I did my um, vision board on Pinterest. So that was nice. I'm gonna keep flipping through that as the year goes along. So I can remind myself what my visions are for the year. But yeah, I just feel like I have stuff to do at the house and I should not be out and about. But who knows? My park and bidding expired for like 30 minutes, but I don't have no tickets. So we're good to go. Out here in Arlington, they don't be checking the parking as hard as they do in DC. If your parking expires in DC, you better go and pay. I don't know if DC gives you any leeway time, like maybe 10, 15 minutes. After that, if they come back and see that you still haven't paid the meter, they're gonna give you a ticket. Show is parched. My, my, my. I was considering going to Chick-fil-A and getting a salad, but I think I might just go to Chipotle instead because I have a gift card. Anthony's mom got me a gift card to Chipotle. So I'm just like, instead of spending my own money. But when I was walking into Zara, I walked by this like older man. We started talking or whatever. He said that he's from uh, Little Rock. He said that he was just visiting. And he was like, I see that you're visiting too. And for a second I was like, hmm, I wonder what does he mean by that? But then I realized it's cause I had my camera out. And I was like, oh no, I'm not visiting. I'm from here, but I just like, you know, record my day and then post it. He was like, okay, well God bless you. I don't think he really understood what that meant, but he was so sweet. And then when I went into Zara, <laughs> this guy was trying on clothes and he was like from a woman's perspective what do you think about this sweater you think it's too small i was like no it fits perfectly he was like yeah i tried on the extra large and that one was a little too big it has some room and i was like no i think that the one you have on is nice so yeah that was a cute little trip talked to a few people the cashier was really nice everybody's been so nice today maybe because it's a new year maybe folks are putting their resolutions you know into effect already and just being nicer i don't know it's 3 50 o'clock and um after a long day of shopping it's time to get chipotle y'all it's still christmas until january 1st so 
have a migrantial one C and they gave us a lot this time too y'all because they were busy and Anthony made a good point it's like every time Chipotle is busy that's when you get the biggest portion because they be rushing through the orders you gotta go there during dinner time five six four that's when you gonna get the best portion right boo boo Happy New Year's Eve. Y'all, we're about to go out to the Pier Lounge. Y'all have seen us go there before when we met with that couple that we met in Jamaica. So the last time we've been out there was June. But my cousin is in town. So we're gonna hit it up again. I am fully dressed and I'm putting on my press-on nails right now. I got these press-ons from Shein. These are the nails that I'm about to put on. Now me, I was sleeping on press-ons for about a year. But press-ons, these joints are lit. You can get so many different styles. You don't gotta sit for an hour and get the design done. This is like the key. This is the, the secret recipe. I know I have some cuticle oil around here somewhere because my cuticles are screaming. They're yelling for some help, y'all. Thanks, it's white. Anyway, what are y'all, what are y'all's New Year's resolutions? I feel like every year we talk about the same stuff, but that's life. There's not too much you can reinvent in this life. You know what I'm saying? So every year it's just like, what are your resolutions? Even though we did, we just did resolutions last year. What are your resolutions this year? I don't know. To me, it just feels repetitive. But in the same breath, it's like, what's the other option? This is what I'm wearing. Real chill, real chill, cause you know. So that's just the vibes that I'm on today. Earlier, y'all saw that I unboxed that Apple Watch. I mean, that uh, Samsung watch. Anthony got that for me. I don't know if it was a Christmas gift. He got one for Christmas. His mom brought him one, so I think he just wanted us to have matching ones. We're gonna take the Metro to Pier. We were gonna get a lift, but the lift was like $40. We was just like, I'm gonna catch y'all on the iPhone. Happy New Year, happy 2023. Y'all, last night when we were at the spot, they didn't even do a countdown. We were all so confused by that. Like, how do you not do a countdown? And then they said that they were doing free toast. That never happened. I did my vision board on the 31st. I did it through Pinterest. My goals for this year is just overall wellness and just like getting back to myself. So that looks like a lot of different things. There's a lot of different aspects involved in that. Y'all will see kind of on the vision board. Both spiritually, you know, um, 
mentally, emotionally, financially, school, just everything. So, yeah, I've been looking at my vision board every day just to remind myself of the things that I'm hoping, planning, wishing to accomplish throughout the year. So, yeah, it's been good so far. I have not journaled yet. And usually I do journal on the first day of the year. Um, and then typically I'll journal for maybe like, I'll journal probably consistently for like a month or two afterwards. And then I'll just fall off and do it, you know, occasionally every now and then. Now we're actually about to head out. It is at 940 and we're going to Hamilton because they have like a late night sushi thing. So yeah, my cousin and her friend are still in town. So we're going to link up with them. And you know, I'm just wearing a sweatsuit, y'all. I can't fit any of my clothes right now. Like I can't, so I'm just wearing a sweatsuit until I can lose this 20 pounds so I can fit into my clothes again. With all my heart, I love you, baby. Stay with me and you will see my arms will hold you, baby. Never leave, cause I believe I'm in love, sweet love. I don't think I've ever showed y'all the city at night time. That's cause I don't ever be out here at night. But this is like the downtown area, so you can tell cause all the little office buildings and whatnot. Y'all, I'm tired, I'm not even gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't even gonna hold ain't you. Gonna hold you. <laughs> you sleepy? Yeah, yeah, Sundays we do not be out the house, okay? We stay in the house. On Sundays so we can relax. I'm off tomorrow. Yeah, that's the only reason we out is because we both off tomorrow. Table 113. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Where are you? Hello. We have the only people here at table 113. Okay. That was busy up in here. I am so embarrassed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me hear you up again. My car dropped. Y'all, I just went in there thinking there's Bible study today. They having a revival this week, so I guess they canceled Bible study to prep for the revival. That was embarrassing. I walked in. Oh, hold on. Before I start, hey, hello. Happy Tuesday. It's 7 o'clock. And like I was saying, I thought I was coming to Bible study. Child, Bible study is canceled because they're having a revival Wednesday through Saturday. So I'm going to come back tomorrow. I was already planning to come to the revival because I saw it on their website. I walked in there and I was just like, yeah, it didn't look like Bible study. It looked like they were wrapping up a meeting. People were like up talking, you know. And so I saw a lady come around the corner. Thank God that she came around as soon as I did. And I was like, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Is there Bible study? happening today and she was like no these people are here preparing for the revival that's happening tomorrow and i was like oh okay got you i'm really excited about this revival though really really excited so we got a package from amazon i ordered some powders so this one is super greens and then i also got super cleanse this one I'm really excited about. This is a total body and liver detox. Support healthy microbiome. Helps cleanse and detoxify. Support healthy weight loss. No added sugar. 14 servings. This is a berry flavor. Add one scoop to 10 to 12 ounces of cold water in any beverage. One to two times daily as desired. Okay. I thought that this is something you had to add to like a smoothie or something. But you can just throw this in your water. So that's what's good. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> the way I be bringing all the drama, child. This is what it looks like. It really just smells like um, Kool-Aid. Y'all know, like the, the drink powder mixes? That's what it smells like. Mm. Yeah, this one smells like greens. 
This smells like kale and like dirt maybe. This is what it looks like. This is another one that you can just add into your water. So how many servings? This is 20 servings. Dang. That means this is not even a month worth of servings. That makes them some expensive powders because these were $16 each. And you would have to potentially buy two per month. Although, I mean, there will be some overlap. It's still just like, oops. Anyway, I'm excited to try them. I'm about to go ahead and close the vlog out here, y'all. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this vlog. Happy New Year's. Happy, mm. y'all saw that meme where they was like, black people always add S to the end of stuff that don't need an S added to it. Hopefully, you stick to the goals that you set this year. I have faith in you. You have faith in you. So, let's do it. Subscribe if you are not already so that you can stay tuned to all of the future videos. And that's about it, y'all. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Yep, go ahead, sir. It's your world. I'm just in it. She a soldier for show. Soldier? Soldier. Um... What was I saying? What was I saying? These are the nails that I'm about to put on. Oop, hold on. No! Good morning. Ooh, I think I need to be turning right here. If my memory serves me correctly. Come on, memory. Come through today, babe. I need you. Because my phone is D-E-E-E-A-D. -E -E Add one scoop to 12... Ooh, I can't read. Add one scoop to 10 to 12 fluid ounces of cold water at any beverage one or two times a day. Or... Wow. Let me just restart.